Hey, fifth graders. Thanks for joining me again today. Um, I want to spend a little bit of time in this video talking to you more about Google. Um, yesterday, we talked about how to use Google Meet, and hopefully you were able to join in your first small group with me and Zhang LaSher. Today, I just want to familiarize you a little bit with Google Classroom, since that is something that you will be using every day. It's really important that every single morning you are getting up and you are logging in to check Google Classroom to see your assignments for the day. They will be posted in there. And also that you are in the habit of checking your email every day as well. Okay, so I want to show you how to do both of those. So you've already added in the Google Classrooms, hopefully. Um, if you haven't, remember you will click on the plus sign and you'll need to type in my class code, which I've emailed to you. Um, so you're going to click on my class. I'm just going to show you through my classroom today. Just keep in mind, some things might look a little bit different on my screen compared to yours because I'm in as the teacher as opposed to the student. But for the most part, other than a few minor little differences, things should look the same. Okay, so when you first click on my Google Classroom, again, just a reminder, this is where you'll see the link for my Google Meets. So when it is your small group time, that is where you would click. Um, you're also going to notice each day I will be making a post um, for the day. So you'll want to find that day's announcement, and I'm working on putting the dates there for you. Um, now, this is actually the um, PowerPoint for yesterday, but I still just want to make sure that we're clear on this. So within that post, I am attaching a PowerPoint or a Google slide presentation. Okay, I have listed on there just a reminder of the Google Meet times. And then I start to go through those lessons, right? So your first lesson, remember you just simply click on that video and it will take you to YouTube where you can watch that video. Okay, and then any handouts or information that go along with the lesson, I will include right in that PowerPoint. Make sure you take the time to look at those um, items. And then after each lesson, I will kind of outline for you what you need to do. Now that you've listened to that whole video and you need to listen to the entire thing, once you've listened to the video, this is just kind of a recap of what you need to do. Sometimes you might be needing to turn something in, so it's important to make sure that you're looking at that. And then it will go into the next lesson. So all my lessons are going to be posted together within this Google presentation. Okay, so here's that second video and telling a little bit about uh, the My Life in Pictures activity. And again, it tells you to make sure that you submit your work to me. And so in that case, that's something that you would do right through Google Classroom. Okay, so I just want to recap that. So when you... Um, You'll see most of the things I post will be in the announcements, but whenever there is a document that you will need um, or an activity that I refer to in my lesson, you'll want to go up here to the top where it says classwork, and that's where you'll see the assignments listed. Okay, when you click on it to open it, um, what it's going to do when you click on it is it's going to ask you to make a copy. It's so that you're not all working in the same document, but instead you have your own private document that you're working from. So when you click on it, it'll ask you, do you want to make a copy? Yes, you do. Um, and then just you can open it from there and then you can start working on it. But other people can't see your work or change your work. Okay, now this is where things look a little bit different, um, but when you are all done with whatever assignment it may be, so this is that um, My Life in Pictures activity, mine says share, but in your upper right hand corner, it should be a blue button basically that says turn in. That's where you will click it, um, and when you say turn in, it'll ask you like, are you sure you want to turn it in? Yes, you'll turn it in. And then once you've done that, then I will be able to look at your work. Until you turn it in, I can't see it. Um, so once you've turned it in, I'll take a look at your work. I'll be able to give you some feedback and let you know um, how you did or if I have any more questions or if there's anything you need to fix or change. So it's important that you go to the classwork tab to find those and that you make sure that you're turning them in using that blue turn in button. Okay, so those are the most important things of Google Classroom. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward when it comes to Google Classroom.
The other thing that you need to be familiar with is using your Gmail. Again, all of this can be found once you've logged into Gmail or into Google. You can go to that waffle, maybe. Give me just a second here and get myself out of the way. Um, you can um, go to the waffle thing, remember, over here next to where you've logged in. And this is the easiest place to go because from here you can go right to Google Classroom. You can go right to Gmail um, if you want to um, create a document to take some notes on and type. You can go right to creating a Google Doc. This is kind of like the one stop shop for everything Google. So if you're ever looking for something and having a hard time finding it, you might think about going here to find it. So um, you would click on Gmail and that will launch your um, email and simply right in there is where you're going to find any emails that have been sent to you. Um, if they're in bold, it means it's an email that you haven't checked yet. So you'll want to click on it and open it. OK, and then to reply. So let's say um, I send you an email and you need to reply to it, which you will need to do. Um, I will be sending you an email just so you can practice checking your email and replying to an email here shortly. Um, so you'll go in, you'll find my email, and once you've clicked on it, then there's this little arrow right here and it says reply. You'll click on that and then from there it will pull up the spot where you can type you can say, hey, Mrs. Zank, I checked my email. Um, and then you would click send and it goes right back to me. OK, my hope is that most of this is review that as fifth graders now, I know last year you were able to do some of these things. So just a quick review to make sure that you're comfortable with it. Now for your activity today, I have a checklist for you, and this is a document that you will find under classwork, and you'll need to open it. Um, this is a checklist for you to complete. So the directions say, play around and practice using Google Classroom, Google Meet, and Gmail. Make sure that you are able to log in and access information on your own. So this is not that your mom and dad log you in each day and that your mom and dad pull up your work for you on Google Classroom. You're responsible to do that. You're more than capable of doing that and when we're back here face to face at school I will expect that you are able to do that on your own so it's good practice for now when we're doing virtual learning but it's also great practice for when we're back here face to face um, once you've mastered it show an adult at home explain how it works and how you use each platform each day for school use the checklist below to show what you can do Okay, so you're going to type in your name. So here are the things you need to be able to do in Google Classroom. You need to add all three classrooms. You've probably already done that or you wouldn't be watching this video, right? Um, that you can view announcements by your teachers. So that's like that first feed where I'm posting uh, my Google Slides. That you can find assignments or classwork. Um, and that you can turn your assignments in. So if you've been able to um, turn in your life and pictures um, document, then you've already been able to do that. So you will just check those things off as you can do them. Next is Google Meet. I want to know, can you, uh, do you know when your Google Meet times are? Do you have that schedule? Um, do you know where to find the link for our Google Meets found in Google Classroom? and uh, the expectations for Google Meet, how you're safe, responsible, and respectful on those, okay? And then finally for Gmail, that you can get to your email, going to the waffle and pulling up Gmail, um, that you will check your email each day. That's really important. Maybe even multiple times a day, maybe once in the morning and once in the afternoon, just to make sure you're not missing anything important and that you can reply to an email. Check your inbox because I have sent you an email that you can reply to to practice that. So once you've checked all of those things off, the last box here, or the last question, if you will, it says share this information with an adult at home. Show how you access information for school. And all you need to do here is just tell me who you shared it with. So you're kind of showing off to your parents like, hey, mom, dad, let me show you my Google Classroom. Look at this is where my teacher posts work. This is where I turn in my work. Um, this is how I get onto my Google meetings. And this is how I check my email. Okay, so just walk them through. It shouldn't take you very long. But I think your parents will be impressed that you are able to do that all by yourself. Okay.
So that is what you will be submitting to me. Once you have checked that, you'll just click submit and then I'll be able to see that you have completed those tasks. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. It's important that you are comfortable and familiar using Google Classroom, Google Meet, and your Gmail. Um, so hopefully this is um, this is really going to help you to be able to do all of those things with ease. If you need any help, of course, feel free to reach out to me for help. Bye, guys. I will see you in small groups soon.